Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to the Black Ops Cold War video. Today we are back with another episode of Blueprint Review, this is episode 83, and today we're taking a look at the Death's Protest Blueprint for the RPD. And of course, we, like always, we go ahead and inspect the Blueprint first. So here's what the Blueprint looks like in-game. Of course, this is Blueprint number 2 of the Death's Veil skin, or Death's Veil bundle for Maxis. Hopefully... We can jump into the gameplay and do well. The RPD is actually my favorite LMG in the game. So I'm hoping we can do pretty well. And I'll see you guys all in the gameplay. I guess I won't come into the game. We are playing some Cranked Hardpoint on Yam and Tau. Hopefully we can do well. Rocking with the blueprint, of course. Now, this isn't really a good mode to actually show off the blueprint because we're going to get a ton of perks <laughs> that are going to help us out a ton in this game. But I don't think it. I don't think it'll matter too much. I think the weapon was still what it is, even if we do get some bonus perks. I mean, they will help us out a ton, but hopefully we can do well. We're unfortunately not using the skin in game again, which is kind of unfortunate, but. Oh my gosh, let's go. Triple. Triple kill. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna die. Dang it. I was trying to... I was trying to... Uh, not mantle. I was trying to repel down there, but... I didn't hold down square long enough, I guess, so... Unfortunately, we died, but... Crazy little... Crazy little streak. There was just too many guys, unfortunately. Too many guys for me to handle. That's teammate. Let's go. There's two guys out and then I get shot in the back. Where did this guy come from? He was right by me the whole time. Dang. Definitely did not see him though. Okay. Anybody else? I'm sure there's probably... Crap. We gotta push. Or we're gonna die. Ah, darn it. I think... Okay, we've died six times, and I think over half of them have been to an LC-10. Did I just get killed by an LC-10? My gosh, dude. That weapon is still so overpowered. I I'm not even getting the LC-10 diamond because it's so overpowered that I'm never going to use it, ever. I refuse to use the LC-10. Nice. One guy down. There's two... There's three. All right, anybody else want some? Of this RPD? Let's go ahead and reload real quick. Man, the reload is so fast. Because it looks like this blueprint actually has a... Reload speed helping attachment. Let's go. There's a six streak as well as some armor. And then let's head back over this direction. Yeah, as you guys can tell, I just prestiged. Let's go. Thank you, armor. Save my life. All right, I'm going to wait. Come on, come through. I know you want to. I know you want to. Okay, that guy's below, actually. Oh, there's a guy over there. No, dang it. Not controlling the recoil too well with this thing. It's alright, though. Thank you. There's my hand cannon. Are these guys spawning over this over here, or are they spawning on the other side? I think they're spawning on the other side. Alright. Hand cannon time. Thank you. There's my straight friend. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, man, we're going in. Wow, that was terrible. Yes, let's go. There's some armor. We're on a 15. Man, this mode is just insane. You can just get on such crazy gun streaks. It's actually kind of wild. The type of gun streaks you can go on in this mode. 
16. There's the 17. That is a disgusting head glitch. There's the 18. Nice. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Nice. Let's keep it going. I'm gonna let this guy come through here. Yep. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Nice. Oh my gosh. Hand cannon. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just got a live nuclear. We just got a live nuclear. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? We just got a freaking live nuclear. Dude. That is freaking nuts. Nope. Don't die. This is my only chance. Dude. This is my only chance to keep going on a streak. Dude, what the hell? We just got a live nuclear. Let's keep going. Thing, he's below. He's below. Let's keep going. Let's see what type of gun streak we can keep going on. Dude, that is just ridiculous. What? No. I can't freaking see where these guys are at. That is just ridiculous. How did we just do that, man? A freaking live nuclear. First game of the day. Using this blueprint. What? What? That is just freaking insanity to me. Okay, where is everyone at, though? I want to keep going on this gun streak. I'm just playing my life at this point. Let me let me just play aggressive and, try and get some more kills. There we go. Oh, we got the nuke as well! Oh my freaking gosh. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep going until I die though. And we do die. Dude, that... Okay, that was ridiculous. Let's call that nuke in. Oh my gosh, what? That is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, man. Dude, what the hell? What the hell? Seriously. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. How? How? I'm speechless. I am just speechless. I don't want to die again. And I'm going to die again. Oh my god. 
Live nuclear, nuke, live nuclear and a nuke. That is just ridiculous. I kind of feel cheap though because we haven't really used the blueprint. But am I not going to show this gameplay? There's no, of course I'm going to show this gameplay. Are you kidding me? That is just insane, man. We don't even need to do the Road to Nuke series because we just got a freaking nuke. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. 57 and 10. We didn't even get that good of a KD spread, but we got the freaking live nuclear. Oh my gosh, what a freaking game. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed a look at the Death's Protest blueprint for the RPD. I mean, yes, we do get a bunch of bonus perks, but... The blueprint is still what it is. I just need to make sure I realistically rate this thing because I'm definitely showing this gameplay, like, with no question about it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I'll see you guys all in two seconds to go ahead and review the blueprint. All right, guys, and welcome into the lobby. We are taking a look at the Death's Protest blueprint for the RPD. Now, I actually went to another game after the first gameplay and played with it in a regular mode, which was Domination, and I actually ended up getting a 4KD solid gameplay there as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this review. That was just a ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous gameplay. That's my first nuclear in this game. You guys got to see it live and my first nuke in this. Just crazy. What? Just insane. What a crazy gameplay that was just wow <laughs> anyways the, starting off here with the attachments we have ourselves the 6.5 inch spetsnaz rpk barrel then we have ourselves the regular foregrip the vandal speed loader the drop shot wrap and finally last but not least we have ourselves the spetsnaz pkm stock so now that that is out of the way you can go ahead and jump to the aesthetic practicality and the worth so starting off here with the aesthetic the aesthetic for me is personally going to be getting a 8 out of 10 once again just like the last blueprint from my last uh, episode of blueprint review i really do like how this blueprint looks i uh, really like the gold on it like the spider webs like everything like that and it overall just looks really really nice and i do like it a lot it looks really good in game as well now that that is all out of the way the uh, is this blueprint practical i would say and i have to be realistic here because that gameplay is really a rare 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 gameplay so is this blueprint practical well I honestly think that it is practical and the reason for that is that it is just a really good overall class the only thing that I do wish that I had a few of the higher tier attachments uh, this is the highest tier attachment but I mean the regular foregrip actually has its really good positives it doesn't have any negatives it doesn't affect the movement speed it doesn't affect anything like that which is really really good and overall I think a lot of the attachments are pretty darn good the only thing that I wish that would be changed is maybe the barrel but other than that, it's a pretty darn solid blueprint, so that is going to be getting, once again, another 8 out of 10 as well. And then last but not least, is this blueprint worth using? I would say yes, it is worth using. Both the aesthetic looks really, really good. Here's what it looks like with the Master Camo's Gold, Diamond, and uh, Dark Dark Matter Ultra. Honestly, the Master Camo's don't look too good on this blueprint, but the blueprint by itself looks really, really awesome. So I do think that it's worth using. I also got a nuclear with it, so it's definitely not a bad weapon. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good class as well. The, I think one of the biggest things that I like about it is that a lot of the negatives, uh, I mean, that is a pretty big negative, but, you know, the, I mean, it, it's an overall pretty solid gun. So I'm going to give that a, I think I'm going to give the worth a little bit of a lower rating. Uh, I think I'm going to give it a seven this time, not an eight, because I think that while it's a good weapon, it's also slow. So you're going to have to, it's also a pretty, it is an LMG. So it's going to be slow, so you're going to have to be pretty careful with it when you use this weapon. So anyways, divided by 3, and th that gives this blueprint a final rating of a 7.6 out of 10, which is pretty solid. It's a well above average of a blueprint, and it's pretty good. I think if it got just a few tweaks, I think it would, could be one of the best. Uh, it could be a really, really good blueprint, but overall, you can't go wrong with this blueprint. Even if you do change the barrel... You still have a lot of the aesthetic left over on it. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this review. Now let's go ahead and jump into the bundle. And I'll tell you guys whether or not that is worth it as well. So if I head over here to the Maxis bundle, we can, of course, see once again the Death's Bride skin for Maxis, which is the central focus of the bundle, as well as the two blueprints that we both used in the previous episodes, the Death Vow blueprint as well as the one that we use in this video and then the parting gift blueprint which you guys can see over here and then everything else is you guys can see it right here so is this bundle worth it 
honestly, it is a 2400 cod, cod point bundle, so it is pretty expensive. I think it's 2400 cod points, but I'm not totally sure on that. But is it worth it? Well, it's a skin focused bundle, so. I mean, the blueprints are good. They are pretty solid. If you tweak them around a little bit, they can be easily some very, very solid weapons. And the skin is really cool as well. I really do like the skin a lot. I think it is a pretty awesome skin. But again, you don't see the skin in games. So the only way to actually consistently see the skin is to have the skin as your primary character. So you're the only one that's going to see it and people will see it in game. And it's an overall solid skin. So again, is this bundle worth it? In my personal opinion, I would say that it is worth it. I, I like it a lot, but again, when it comes to these bundles within Black Ops Cold War, it is always up to you. It's your money. So if you decide to buy it, then awesome. If you decide that you don't want to buy it, awesome. Would I buy it just for the skin? Probably not. I don't think buying bundles for skit for just the skin itself is ever worth it. I think the bundles, I think the blueprints that come with the bundle are more important to take a look at and kind of think if they're going to be worth your money or not. But both blueprints are pretty good. And again. I, I covered it in my last episode, but if you guys, if you take a couple of attachments off of this thing and add some better attachments, it can easily be one of the better, best MAC-10s in the game. And same with this thing as well. You get rid of that barrel, it can be another really, really solid weapon. But overall, I think the bundle is definitely worth it. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to do it for this next episode of Blueprint Review. That was an absolutely ridiculous episode. Probably my favorite episode of Blueprint Review so far because it was just such a ridiculous gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys did like it, it was appreciated. If you want to check out any of my other previous Blueprint Review videos, they will all be linked down below in the playlist in the description. As well as my previous episode will be at the end of the video as well. I'll see you guys all on another Black Ops Cold War video very, very soon. <laughs>